What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have seen how these charts are starting to work, and I have a feeling Luna Classic is about to take off for another one of those big rips. Now, it's going to be muted. I'm going to show you what I think is about to happen to Luna Classic. I think that breakout is almost here. I think that we're getting ready for that next big move. I'm going to show you exactly why, and then from there, we'll try to break this down and figure out. Now, if you like this type of content, Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And make sure you share this on X or wherever with as many people as you possibly can. Let's kick it off with the news. Then we'll get into price action. And then we'll close this out with a, a new project. Now, the way that these projects are funded. Terraport. Uh, Terraport sponsors this channel for these Luna Classic videos every day. Uh, Terra Casino is where you go if you want to do some trade. Now, here is the, uh, here's the thing. Uh, if you support these guys, if you support these new initiatives, if you, you know, come in here and you start to support these, buy some of these meme coins that are out here, buy some of these utility coins that are out here, you know, contribute into this ecosystem, then guess what? Then we get better because of it and we start to become a better uh, blockchain, we're bringing life back to it. That's what Genuine Labs, that's what all these guys are trying to do, is bring life back to this quote-unquote zombie chain. So if you contribute and you help to that, and you go to Terraport, do some trading, Terra Casino to do some risk-based gaming, um, buy some of these meme coins, hodl for a little while, you know, see what happens in this ecosystem. That's when we perform at our best, and that's when you can start to see real and true price action. Don't believe me? Look around. There's cryptos out here in the billions and billions and billions of market cap, and they have activity on their chain. So if you want to be active on this chain, then guess what? Price go up. It's the way that it works. So let's kick it off with the news. All right, guys. So Terraform Labs, Duquan reached preliminary deal uh, with the SEC in the Terra USD case. Now, terms have not been revealed. Uh, as per Reuters, which cites court documents, the terms of the deal aren't yet clear, although a jury earlier found Quan and Terraform Labs liable on civil fraud charges. The SEC accused Terraform Labs and Quan of deceiving investors in 2021 about the stability of TerraUSD. Now, they are guilty of that. A stable coin designed to maintain its value at $1. The regulator also alleged that Quan and the firm falsely claimed Terraform's blockchain was used in a popular Korean mobile payment app, and it was not. The crypto community appears to be divided on the settlement's implications, and we've seen a lot of different things. Data uh, data Wallet says LMAO, now Luna 2 will moon, unbelievable coincidence. Uh, and, and in fact, it did have a nice little rip, which we'll look at when we look at price action. But uh, previously, the SEC had demanded that Quant and Terraform Labs forfeit $5.3 billion. Now, the thing is, I, I don't think that they, they reached a settlement. So there's obviously some money. So it'd be interesting to see exactly what this disgorgement is because, you know, according to the SEC, it is their belief that Duquan is worth billions of dollars. That's what disgorgement is. They want to make sure that the billions of dollars that Terraform Labs and Duquan are holding from this whole collapse, they want to make sure that they get their piece of it as a penalty uh, so that they're not profiting off of this. You know, because look, I mean, you pay, uh, if you owe $5 billion, you made five, let's say you made $4 billion off of this collapse, if you will, and your fine is $420 million, you made $3.6 billion off of it. And that seems a little bit shady. So what they're trying to do is get the money back that they said was profit. But uh, I think that because they've reached a settlement, I think the SEC understands that they're not getting $3.54 billion out of them uh, because they don't have it because, you know, crypto price go down, bro. So the disgorgement uh, probably was waived and they probably agreed to the fines. Um, 420 million for the company and 100 million for Duquan. Now, Duquan does say that he doesn't have near 100 million dollars, so there's no way that that could happen. So, um, it, they'll, I'm sure they looked at the finances. I'm sure they looked at everything and they got as much as they possibly could, and it was good for both parties. So now the settlement is there. And look, this is not good or bad for the the blockchain. This is just closure for the blockchain, and that in itself is a good thing. But moving on, uh, Binance has burned 1.35 billion Terra Luna Classic. Uh, crypto exchange NetBurn has finally hit 60 billion, which is a significant amount. When we look at Lunk Metrics today, we'll talk about that and we'll see you know, what the, the burn looks like for the last seven days. On the Commonwealth, uh, we've got a couple of different things that are out here. Upgrade SDK uh, 5XV. We need to ask from uh, Genuine Labs to upgrade the SDK. Since uh, we have since 47X got expired, 
Cosmos highlighted weeks back, but validators voted no on 50V proposal that they won't support migration of 47X version. Since now validators cost us 90K to repair this issue, I suggest from the validators who voted no on 50X version to pay up front the genuine labs to fix this damage cost they've done to our chain. So uh, there's since validators have now cost us 90, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I'll get back to you if there's, if there's anything real to it. But, uh, you know, this guy is saying that it's cost us $90,000 to fix because we haven't done the upgrade because it was voted down. Now, if you remember uh, this SDK upgrade when they did it, it was because it was worded er er erroneously and, and needed to be fixed, uh, I, I think, from the presentation standpoint. Now, I can't say for sure on that, but I do remember when it had happened. And so I think that, you know, this is just somebody who's like, uh -huh, I can post in Commonwealth. You know, I don't know that there's any validity to it. Also, there's a modified pay per job structure, not up for proposal yet, but we'll look at it. The current pay per job required format for proposals is inefficient for teams that may be looking for long term work. You know, this is basically what they're saying is um, how the fees go uh, day one of contract uh, and, and, and then how you're to be compensated for, you know, whatever it is that you that you do here. So We'll see whether or not that happens. Uh, we've got some indications here that Trust Wallet has some failed transactions, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, we don't know a fix for it at this point, so uh, if you check this out, I've had this happen on Solana Network where transactions always fail, even simple funds transfer, so n no idea about why, but you know, probably be looked at. If you're experiencing the same thing, you might want to get into Commonwealth, check it out. So uh, that's it. That covers that. Let's check price action. So on price action, uh, I told you guys that I think that we're about to that that mo that moment where we have this big two x uh, that happens. I think we're getting there on 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 this. Now I'm zoomed out a little bit so that you can see uh, the 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 chart here. Uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit. This is the daily, by the way. Uh, you can see the RSI still a little bit hot. So. Uh, I would expect some sideways action at the very best. But zooming down here, you can kind of see that we're still maintaining this upward sort of mobility and momentum. It's still coming in this sort of rapid pattern rife for a blow off. Now, let me move this out of the way. Uh, I, I expect to see some upward momentum, right? Well, we're getting this channel continuing to surge. So I would think that we're going to have a, a big blow off. Um, we, we've had it a couple times pushing up in this direction, showing positive price action. But what we haven't seen is that blow off, right? We, had, we saw this kind of move right here. And now we're looking for that big moment, right? Well, there's a reason for that. And there's a reason that we're looking for that momentum or the reason that I think that it's getting ready to come. Now, let me zoom back out here, give you guys an idea of where this ends it is my opinion that we're going to get some kind of big impulse move here coming from wales pretty soon and it's going to take us up to this three zeros 22 where we're going to again test uh, whether or not we can have a breakout uh, market seems to be moving in a positive direction feeling good so i think this is coming why do i think this is coming we'll get to that in just one moment uh, coin hall uh, we're still seeing not a lot of value here uh, on, on some of these meme coins, but they're still pumping a little bit here and there. If you look at L-Sphere here, down 15% on the day, but it's up in the 24 hours, 6x. So if you got in here uh, early enough and, and you, you, you got some uh, opportunity here, look at this, uh, it, between Game, Future Flare, and Meme, uh, any Peppy M, you know, these guys are up up to upwards of 50% in the 24 hour. If you're looking for meme coin stuff like that, you're missing out if you're not taking at least a shot here. Uh, buy yourself a couple memes, buy yourself a couple of these tokens, try to figure out, uh, you know, how best you fit into this uh, ecosystem, if you will, and you know, let's see what happens. Uh, but let's keep moving. Uh, in, in station, we're not going to see an approval of 1211. That one's already uh, going to miss. Uh, nobody's voting yes on that. As far as volume goes, 24 million down again significantly. Uh, total market cap up a little bit, but uh, again, volume on USTC still down. I don't see any positive impetus right now on USTC, by the way. At a quick look on this chart, I mean, you see it rising. So, you know, there's there's some sentiment here and there's some feeling. I don't, I, I, I don't feel as good about it, but here's what I do want to say that I think is very important. What I told you guys is you're looking for that breakout. When you get that breakout, which we had this breakout over here, okay? Uh, when we had the breakout, we had some sideways action. After we had the sideways action, gigantic impulse move up to $0.08. Cents. So what are we doing here? Now we're down here in this range here. Uh, we broke out of the resistance. 
Folks, the bull market is about to take off and you don't have enough crypto. You know how you can get more crypto? Cryptonomy.finance. Not only are they giving away up to $100,000 worth of Pepe just by you signing up for their website, but you can earn yield off of the crypto that you stake with them now. Guys, I staked 1.29 ETH. I already have 0.5 ETH in return. Uh, this expires November 21, 2024. Scheduled interest on it, 0.99 total ETH. I'm going to earn an ETH just for my staking. And let's not forget the launch pool. We've had another big one. Uh, Theta Knots Finance did a 12X. Arrow Markets did a 2X. Uh, these guys are putting out continuous multipliers, and they're getting you in for the best results on these swaps. The next few weeks... An Android app is going to launch, then an iPhone app is going to launch. Cryptonomy.finance is making it easier for you to earn yield off of your crypto simply by staking. We're going into the bull run. It's about to get crazy. That's where the millions and millions are made. Don't you want to be a part of it? Sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Or it is possible that we're not looking at it the right way because this is an evolving uh, sort of motion. You know, maybe a little bit of this. Still looks like we're in breakout mode. Uh, if you zoom in here and kind of look, you can see for the last couple of days, it looks like we've broken out of this trend right in this range. Uh, we had a wick up here and then we came back for a test and now it looks like we're kind of in this spot for a move. Now, if that move comes, then there is the next impulse move. What's the next impulse move look like? Well, if we come out here and we say that this is our impulse line right here, then it would look to me like there is an impulse move coming up into that six and a half, seven cent sort of range. Not exactly sure when that breakout's going to happen. Could be another couple of months before it happens. Could be any moment. There, There's, um, you know, there's some, there's some, it'll be some waning excitement, but then if it breaks out right here, then we could be looking at 10 cents at that point. So it's just going to be, when we get up here to the top, do we have a nice big retest? You know, how does this work? If you see here, we had this big wick going up here and then we had no retest. If you look over here, we had a much stronger retest and a lot more consolidation up near the top. So, you know, once we get this impulse move, which again, kind of corresponds with this line right here, in my opinion, uh, then you know, six and a half, seven cents. Now, the other thing is uh, when it does break out and it will break out, but when it does break out, uh, you can look for a high up into this range, most probably at about 8.3 cents. So uh, there is some significant opportunity here for USTC, but I digress. Let's get back into it. Uh, we got 1.36 billion uh, that was burned. Uh, Lunk Dash shows how everybody's voting. So everybody basically voted no on this, uh, the rest of it. Uh, I, you know, I don't think that anybody's really doing too much here to Cosmos Distribution. Uh, this is for, um, this is the community pool spend. So um, uh, the vote here is yes, yes. Lunk swap, yes, yes, yes. Everybody's voted yes. Who's done it so far? Uh, but now let's talk about the project of the day. And that project of the day is Lunk Metrics. If you haven't, then I encourage you to use Lunk Metrics if you're interested in finding out exactly what's going on on the Luna Classic chain. First of all, I want to say this. Uh, if you are interested, then you, you can refresh this screen and it will show you how much Lunk has been burned over the last seven days how much the total circulating supply is, how much total has been burned up to this point. If you want to, you can look at the Lunk Burn Tracker, uh, USTC Burn Tracker, uh, Lunk Supply, Lunk Staking, Lunk Price, USTC Price, and the Validators. So you have a, a complete list over here of what you need. Then you have the top burners. Then you have the Binance Lunk Burns. You have the Cremation Coin Protocol. You have DF Lunk Protocol. Then you have the top 100 Lunk Burners. If you're ever curious about who's burning the most, then you can come into this and you can see exactly who's burning what and you can see Binance of course number one DF Lung Protocol five point uh, four point five billion in the second place La Lunatics token MEXC, Lunk Dow, Cremation, All Nodes, Terra Casino, KuCoin, Lunk Burn, coming all the way down here. You can see the familiar faces, Lunasphere, Bybit, uh, Luna Station, Terraport, Happy Cat Crypto. You can see who's actually doing burning. There's a lot of people talk about it. There's only a few people who are actually doing something about it. So these are the guys, and that's how you're going to be able to find them. Uh, then over here, if you're interested, you have Terra Luna Crash. It explains exactly what happened over here, um, and then it, how to algorithmically trade, how to do algo trading, and then Lunk Burn Memos uh, in case that you're looking for people. You know, uh, it, I'll, I'll show you. 
And you can see here when somebody does and, and contributes a burn, they have an opportunity to uh, put out some information. Uh, and you can see here all of the memos um, and, and the word count goes all the way up. I mean, it goes way, way, way up. Uh, now, of course, when you look at it this way, it's a little tougher to, uh, to kind of read. But when you want to put a note of anything, then you can do that. And you can do that through Lunk Metrics. And uh, you have light version, you have dark version. Um, over here, you have a nice little uh, window. It does basically whatever these tabs up here are doing uh, as well. Uh, Lunk burn tracker. That, that's the important part, right? Well, this is uh, um, this is an interesting, interesting uh, sort of uh, concept here, right? Uh, you've got the amount burned. You've got the real time chart. But here's the thing. I'm going to take you over to staking real quick, and I want you guys to 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 notice this is lifetime staking right here. Now. Uh, if I were to zoom out here just a little bit, uh, give you an idea of what staking looks like on, uh, say, a three-month window or, you know, this all-time window. It's easier to do it this way. We're going to refresh it. And you'll notice that there was a, an enormous spike that came up when we reached a peak here of about 15% right? Uh, when we got that, you got this move right here around December 3rd, where all of a sudden you see a bunch of this stuff come unstaked. Now, why did you see that come unstaked? Well, the reason that you saw it unstaked was because we got this enormous spike right here that coincided with this gigantic price movement, okay? So it went from 15% stake to 14% stake because there was this just big, big candle uh, showing uh, some positive result, right? Well, if you come over here and you see that, then it quickly recovers over this period of time. And then right here, you see we get a little bit over 15% again, and then boom, it drops back down into that 14% range. Now, why did it drop down that 14% range? Well, boom, right here. This is the same, it's the same day. Uh, and by the way, this takes a little bit of time because remember there's a 21 day unlock period, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, it, but what you're seeing is you're seeing a move towards the downside in the amount of lunk that's been staked after a buildup of staking, then boom, you see massive price action and then you see some unstaking happen. So you, you see that as a, um, uh, as a big move. Well, guess what? If you look at this using the same lens, then what are you seeing? You're seeing it start to build back up. We're at 14.6. We're at 14.7 a couple days ago. So, you know, we're kind of moving sideways on this, but sideways and up 14.2, 14.3, 14.4, 14.6, 14.7, a little bit down into 14.6 one more time and then up a little bit more. So what I think you're about to see is you're, you're about to see another uh, uh, another increase in the amount that's being staked. And then once you see that go up just a little bit more, then I think that we end up with another big spike. Again, I just think that something like that is coming and that it's not that far away. Um, also, I would say that during that same period of time, of course, you're going to see the same thing happen over here. Now, if you are trading, then, you know, let's look at what's the percentage for you. Uh, your percentage gain over here was 265%. Your percentage gain from, if you caught the bottom here, all the way up here, 184%. Uh, I, I think it's, this one is going to be a little bit more muted. We'll look at it from, you know, possibly this area as the downside of it and say up here, about 190. So about a 200% move from that bottom uh, and about a move of, let's, from here to here, there's still about 90% uh, upside momentum on this move. So this is all speculation, wild speculation, by the way. But let's look over here at USTC. And what do you see on USTC from that bottom? You see, boom, 500. That's a 5X. It's a very quick 5X. Now, when this happened again in March right here from that bottom, you see, again, this is why I'm losing confidence in USTC. Not as robust, only 105% move. Now, th that could be that we, you know, because of that trend line. But here's the thing. Remember, I told you the last time, it, we go sideways a little bit and then boom, it takes off, right? Well, what happens when it takes off? Well, then we look at it from this area to, say, this area and that's about a 200 percent increase so i think that there's a big move on tap i think that we're getting very close to that next big impulse move now will it sustain probably not um but you know what what we're hoping or what we will hope for would be this big spike and then we would get some consolidation in range here at about three or four cents which we've done a couple of times over uh right now we seem to be comfortable at around two cents but you know this get a move an impulse move into the three or four cent range uh and then you know the big blow off over here this could be this could be a big opportunity if you're trading it correctly but let me know what you think in the comments down below 
We're doing this with Terraport. We're doing this with Terra Casino. We're doing this with Lunk Metrics. We're doing this with uh, Frag. We're doing this with FRG. We're doing this with uh, Cremation, with uh, Lenny Lunk, with Cookie Monster. We're doing this with all these different tokens to try to give you an opportunity to, to, to delve into this ecosystem. So if you like this type of content, then I would encourage you, use Terraport for some trading. Go buy yourself some meme coins. If you want to do some risk-based gaming, you can use Ethereum, you can use Bitcoin, you can use xrp you can use luna classic go in there and and see how well you can do if you want to burn some more tokens and binance is not burning enough for you uh go to weeks sign up there's a link in the description down below you can sign up for that and see what happens here but if you contribute to this vibrant ecosystem then guess what then that vibrance people start to find out about it and the people that are saying oh no luna classic is dead are like wow what is happening with luna classic why is it pumping why is it getting better that's for you you the consumer um, if you can, you know, go through this and uh, figure out, you know, where best you fit, then guess what? You can be part of it. And when this thing takes off, and it will take off, but when this thing takes off, um, your life will be forever changed. But that's just my opinion. And this is not financial advice, but I am always right. So we'll talk to you again very, very soon.